This is a planet where water is more expensive than life. The temperature in G Ocean is as high as 60 degrees. Looking around, the entire surface is covered with a layer of yellow sand. Want to drink water here? You have to pay tens of thousands of times more expensive than on Earth. If you break the law here, you'll be locked up in a glass jar and exposed to the sun. Snow is the famous rich man here. Since he walked into the black market, many traders have turned their attention to him. He came to a handsome and cool boss. Asked for a large can of high-end goods sent from the earth. When Snow got the goods, he told the boss, all debt will be paid next time. The boss gritted his teeth, but didn't dare to say anything. Back home, Snow opened the jar. Inside is a whole jar of fresh strawberries. He picked up one and began to taste it carefully. After eating, Snow came to the black market again to relax. Display from the screen on the street. Snow turned out to be a cosmic wanted criminal. He came to a bar, ordered a full glass of cold beer. Before the ass is hot, the people who are looking for trouble come. These three are bounty hunters. The woman told Snow. A rich man named Barris spent a huge bounty to buy Snow's testicular. Snow has long been used to it. At the moment when the other party drew the gun, Snow took the lead. But how Snow can fight three? When Snow was about to be shot, suddenly the bounty hunter was stabbed from behind. This woman is Hyrule. Snow got up, thanked Hyrule and left quickly. Because in his current situation, there are a lot of people who want to track him down. He dared not stay in here anymore. Only came to the remote wild. But at this moment, Snow found that Hyrule was also following him. Hyrule said she already knew Snow and wanted to cooperate with Snow. Snow didn't refuse, invited her to stay a night. Soon the sun rises. The daytime temperatures here are extremely harsh. Snow took out the tent and entered the tent with Hyrule. Air conditioning in the tent can withstand the high temperature outside. When Snow took apart the gauze on his broken hand, Hyrule discovered that his hand is self-recovering quickly. It turns out that Snow's body has a special gene. As long as he doesn't get hit by a weak point, he can recover perfectly. No wonder why so many people want him. Could Hyrule want him too? And of course, Snow also doubted. In the evening, the two began to travel. Hyrule revealed her identity. She said she was an agent of the Earth Intelligence Agency. She had the same purpose as everyone else which is to get Snow's genes. But she would never use violent tricks. She just wanted to take Snow back for research. As long as the research is successful, Earthlings will also have a place in the universe. Snow decisively refused. Although he is human, he doesn't care about the Earth. Another night away. Hyrule has always been behind Snow. After all, Hyrule is also a compatriot. Snow simply took her back to his secret base. Hyrule's eyes light up. This is a paradise. It's very cool inside, and there's even a source of water. Know that on this planet, water is more expensive than gold. No wonder why Snow is so rich. Watching the sunset, Snow opened another can of strawberries. Started to taste the taste of the earth. Looks like he misses his hometown. At this time, Hyrule also changed into cool pajamas and came to Snow. Hyrule asked why there are women's clothes here. Snow had to tell her. This belonged to his wife's. Because he can be immortal. So his wife died more than a hundred years ago. Looking at Snow, Hyrule felt that he was so lonely. After some comfort, the two fell into a deep sleep. In the midnight, Hyrule was woken up by the alarm bell. And Snow had long since disappeared. She looked at the monitor on the wall. Found a spaceship landing outside. Looks like they were being followed. Here are some more bounty hunters. But obviously these people are no ordinary people. They quietly split it up, but they didn't know. Snow had already discovered them. Waited for one to get close to him. He quickly jumped down. Solved one easily then the second one. But this woman is clearly not easy. It took several rounds to take her down. Just when Snow was preparing for a quick fight, the woman's teammate came over. Learn from her, this man is her husband. He was very cruel. He didn't say a word and directly opened fire. Fortunately, Snow ran fast enough. The movement quickly attracted other teammates. They started to surround Snow. Snow originally thought of attacking, but this man is rough and thick-skinned. Snow was reversed. The big man walked over to see if Snow had died. But who knows Snow was beaten like this has still lived. In the end, Snow picked up the gun, hit it successfully. But soon another hunter came. He kicked away Snow's gun. Then took out the dagger, ready to cut off Snow's testicles. But suddenly an infrared ray came over. 
Snow looked forward and saw that it was Hyrule. Just when Hyrule came closer, she was shot. It was Varus, the boss of this group of mercenaries. He was Snow's old acquaintance. Because when he was young, his grandfather and father were all killed by Snow. It is said that the villain is more talkative. Just as he was about to end Snow, suddenly a robotic arm pierced his chest. Snow looked at the person in front of him in disbelief. Hyrule who spent a day with him turned out to be a robot. When Snow woke up, Hyrule had brought him back to the cave. Hyrule told Snow, she had an accident when she was young. And it was Snow who saved her. But after that, she never saw Snow again. When she grew up, in order to find Snow, she had to remodel her body. Because of only that way, she could survive in this crisis-filled universe. Hearing this, Snow was moved by her persistence. He decided to give his blood. Let Hyrule brought it back to the Earth for the benefit of all mankind.